What is going on guys? This is Danny with his and her Teslas. And I wanted to do a video because I've been asked a lot by family, friends, co-workers about going solar and why would you do it? And I feel like there's a real big misconception out there as to the expense and cost of having solar to power your home. Um, I think many people feel that the payback period the amount of time it takes to recuperate your money and actually make money back on the solar system is longer than what it truly is. And the actual payback on the system itself is kind of complicated because when you think about it, you're shelling out this money up front. For the most part, most people are financing these systems, let's be honest. Not a, not a lot of people have thirty-five, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 to spend on a solar system up front. Uh, and especially with all the incentives out there, federal tax credits and all that, most people most people finance it uh, over the course of 10, 12, 20 years. In, in my case, this, for example, Tesla Solar offers 10 or 20 year financing. The cost of my system pre-tax credit is about $50,000 and that's with two power walls. It's for about a four, almost a 14,000 kilowatt hour system and let, let's just go from there. My utility bill, my electricity bill actually, uh, including the charging of two Model 3s, uh, on average it's going to be in the neighborhood of around $200 to $210 a month. And that's only because we recently added the Model 3s. Prior to that, our bill was no more than about, a, on average for the year, it was about $170, $165-170. So just based on that, let's go based off the fact that the new uh, electricity payment is roughly $210 a month on average for the year. In the winter months, it's going to be quite a bit less. So they're building a solar system that is going to cater to 100% of my energy usage based on my average, meaning uh, on you know throughout the whole year I've used a certain amount of kilowatt hours of battery, I mean of power, and they're building a system that's going to you know basically cover my usage for the whole year. So based off that, and including the tax credit. My monthly payments on those panels are going to be uh, about ten to fifteen dollars more a month than what my utility bill is. Now, most people are going to be saying, "Well, what's the point of going solar if you're not saving money? You're paying more for the solar panels than you are for your electricity." The difference is, I'm paying towards something that I'm actually going to own. I'm owning a piece of property in the sense that the panels will be mine once I pay them off. I'm actually also adding value to my home. So a $50,000 panel system, solar system, that I'm really only paying about $35,000 for after the federal tax credits that include two power walls, that value is being added directly to my house. Maybe not 100% of the value of the house or the value of the system, but a good amount. Roughly 80% of the value of that system is being added to the sale price of the house if I ever decide to sell it. The benefit is whoever's buying the home will no longer need to uh, have a utility bill and they have the ability to finance their utility payments over the length of the mortgage versus paying month to month on a uh, utility expense. So long story short, it's like paying rent. Most people will tell you paying rent is the worst thing you can do. You're blowing money, invest the money into a property. Uh, get yourself, you know, put money away to buy a property so you're not throwing that money away. Same concept. Yes, you may take 10 to 20 years to pay it off, but in the meantime, that money that you are paying is just like you are paying it to the utility company, which in essence is throwing money away. You're throwing money away, money that you're never going to recuperate. So why not put it towards something that's going to not only be paid off within 10 to 20 years or even faster, depending on how fast you want to pay it down, and then ultimately leave you with no payments. You won't have a utility expense and you won't have a solar panel payment. So, and the fact that it adds value to the house, because that's another question I get many times is, well, what happens if you decide to sell your house before you're done paying the panels? It's not worth it. It's still worth it. I've already received my tax credit. The true cost of the panels itself has gone from 50 to 35,000 because of the tax credit. And now I'm selling the house with the added value of those panels on top which is going to be more than $35,000, which I paid for the, you know, for the tax credit included. Because most people going forward are, are, may not even qualify for the tax credit. They're looking to eliminate it. I mean, if you've been keeping up with politics recently, you'll see that 
this administration is trying to abolish all of the green energy, reusable energy, uh, electric vehicle credits. They're trying to get rid of all that stuff. So I'm looking at it like that stuff is not going to be available in the future. I'm getting it now. And that's an expense that I'm going to pass on to the buyer of my home, which I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Standalone battery backup systems like from Generac that will sustain this home, this size house, which is roughly 3,000 square feet, will cost me about $15,000 installed. And that's just for a backup generator that will only benefit me in the event of a complete power outage. The Tesla system with two power walls will do exactly the same thing. During a power outage, I will have power being pulled from those power walls, and I'll have the energy being pulled from solar throughout the day. So I get the best of both worlds by just getting a Tesla solar system with the power walls installed. How does it work? Uh, there's videos that go into details as far as how the whole system works. Long story short, during the day, your house is being sustained by the solar power, and then at night, it's taking the power from the stored energy in the power walls, and you're using that energy to sustain the house, whether it's the AC unit, lights, and whatnot. Um, and then any extra energy that gets stored or that gets produced after the battery packs have been filled up gets sold back to the energy company uh, for a credit in case you ever need to tap into those credits in the future um, during the hot summer months, whatnot. It's available to you. So I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video. You'll see it once it goes up. But I'm, I really want to say that if you have a home and you don't have solar or aren't even considering it, you're a fool. I mean, you're a fool because you're throwing your money away to utility companies. Like you're just you're just blowing your money because that's money you're not gonna get back. Why not put that money into a physical property, something that you own, that not only adds value to the house, but basically cancels out your utility uh, electricity payment. So, I mean, maybe it's not for everybody. Maybe there's some people who have smaller homes who uh, have a very small ex utility expense. And don't really spend a lot on you know electricity, so the panels themselves, the, the payments on them would be higher than maybe your utility bill by quite a bit. Maybe it's not for those people. But if you have a decent sized home and you're spending upwards of two hundred dollars a month on your electricity, and you can get a system built that's going to cost just the same, you know, the same amount to have it uh, sustain your home, and especially in Florida where we have hurricanes all the time, you know, we lose power quite a bit. To have something that will keep my house going, I have three kids, that's the worst. Living through a, you know, having to live through hurricanes or tropical storms and have power outages when you have kids, it's just the worst. So let's see uh, what you guys think. Leave some comments down below if you have solar and you have your story on, you know, how you got your system installed, how great it's been working for you. I'd love to hear it in the comment section. Please let me know. Uh, I'm still going through the certification process, getting permits, uh, the installs. It's probably looking like a few months before the install happens, but I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going to have a series of videos actually on my remodel of my garage. I'm actually kind of gutting the garage and redoing it in preparation for the solar system to be installed along with the power walls. It's going to be Tesla themed, uh, the red paint, the white with some logos and stuff. It's going to look really cool uh, on top of adding a, a Tesla wall connector for the, for the uh, second Model 3 to charge at the same time. So really interested in doing that if you have been following me please look click the little bell notification so you get notified when these videos go up i'll be pumping them out on a weekly basis especially when it gets going the construction all the updates will roll out you know as i record them so thanks again guys thanks for sticking with me and i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace